Have you ever noticed that sometimes people who are less deserving clear the job interview and someone who can do the job better fails? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you some simple tips on how to clear a job interview. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Ashwini Thakur and this video is produced by Let'sShareSolutions.com and in this video, I'm going to share with you 7 tips on how to clear a job interview. The first point is dress appropriately. Well, as we know, first impression is the last impression. In the case of an interview, I would say first impression is the only impression because the interviewer decides at that very moment that if you are the right candidate or not. And if you are not dressed properly, that will create, that will give a negative impact of your personality on the interviewer. So when you go for an interview, you must know what is the job that you're applying for. And according to the job profile, decide what you should wear. So I'm not saying that you should, you should wear a formal suit or coat or something like that. I'm not giving you some instructions on what you should wear. I'm just telling you that try to wear something that is appropriate, something that should be like it is according to the job that you go. For example, if you're going for a job of a bank manager, you should not go in a casual t-shirt. So just decide, just think about it, which job profile you're going for and wear accordingly. I've seen people coming for an interview in slippers. So that's a, a complete no-no. So according to the job profile that you're appearing, try to dress appropriately. The second tip is do not be late. If you are late, that gives again a negative impression about your work ethics. So it will not give a good, good impression on the HR or the recruiter that uh, you are late today, you might be late again and so on. So just this is just a common sense that you should not be late. I'm not saying that if you are late, you will not clear the interview, but it is better to be on time because if you are on time, it is not only uh, a good impression of your personality, it will also give you enough time to get the feel of the environment. You, you just sit there, calm down, and you can do the paperwork, whatever that will be given to you. So if you are on time or before time, it will be good for you as well. So I would say that if you are giving an interview and if you are serious about the job, why not give 30 minutes or one hour more? Uh, it will just help you. So be on time. The third point is clean up your social network. Now this is something new because nowadays everyone is on social networking websites like Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google Plus uh, and if you search someone on Google or Facebook you will find that person so when you go for an interview make sure you clean up your social profile and just make sure you don't have anything that would go against you uh, you've written on your Facebook profile or a picture that would go against your job or just be honest you know you just should not say something in an interview that uh, uh, should contradict with what you are on Facebook. If you if you have a Facebook profile where you show yourself uh, someone who party hard, so either you should remove those photographs or you should just be honest. I would suggest be honest. You can just tell the interviewer that yes, you believe in working hard and party harder or whatever, you know. The reason I'm saying this is because nowadays uh, it, is, it is not, uh, it is very common that uh, recruiters do try to search the candidates and check their social network profiles because that gives them a very uh, clear idea of what the person is all about. The fourth tip is prepare. Well, this is there is no substitute for preparation. So prepare, prepare, prepare. That's a golden rule. You must prepare yourself for the interview. Now the reason I'm saying you should prepare is because a lot of times when you go for an interview, you are asked some basic questions. The basic questions like, tell me something about yourself, your strengths and weaknesses. How do you see or where do you see yourself in five years? These are some basic questions which are asked almost in every interview. Now, you should at least be 
answerable to these questions. You should at least have answers to basic questions like tell me something about yourself and sometimes people are not even prepared for this basic question. They have a good CV, they have good experience, they have a good uh, a qualification, a good grades, but they are not able to describe themselves and that's only because they have not prepared. They have not prepared themselves. So make sure you prepare. There are other videos that I have uploaded with some common questions which are asked in uh, interviews. You should watch those videos and prepare yourself and uh, go there with those with that preparation and I'm sure you will crack the interview if you are prepared well so this is I would say the most important uh, point here and make sure after you prepare the next point that I'm going to talk about is uh, about uh, what you should do after you prepare and the next point is mock interview you should ask your family or friends or just one person to sit down there and interview you and do a mock interview with them and that will help you to understand your weaknesses. You will ask them to come up with new questions. Ask them uh, to ask you common questions and ask them to ask some uncommon questions. Whatever that comes into their minds. They will uh, help you in preparing yourself through mock interviews. And also this will give you the confidence to prepare and prepare well and when you go for the interview you would have that psychological you know mindset you will have that confidence in you because you've already done a demo of what you're doing there because you will see that a lot of actors uh, you will see the theater they do rehearsals before they perform on stage in the same way this is just like a rehearsal for you before you give that interview the sixth point is do a good research about the company and its background now this is very important because if you do a research about the company that you're going for the interview for and you know about the company already that will give a good impression about you to the interviewer because they might ask you bluntly that what do you know about the company or even if they do not ask this question if you know about the company and in your conversation you mention that or they realize that you already know about the company you know uh, about the company and you know a little bit more about the company like uh, any recent news about the company or anything or maybe the job profile that you're doing or maybe they're hiring for a pilot process or something that you are aware of so if you are aware about the company or about the company's background that will add an advantage for you and it will give you an edge over others so make sure you do some research it will not take much time just do a common uh, you know google search and try to know about the company that you are going for and one more advice i would like to give you here is that uh, sometimes the interviewer asks you that do you have any questions that you would like to ask or even if they do not ask try to mention something that should tell that you have done your homework that should tell the interviewer that yes you know about the company already you've done your homework so you should not just you know try to show off it but just try to be very normal and if they ask you to uh, ask some question make sure you are ready with at least three questions you may ask one two or all three of them or just ask one but you should be ready for at, with at least three questions to ask from the interviewer before you go for the interview and you can only get those questions if you do a research about the company uh, online so and the question should not be very simple that can be searched on google it should not be a very you know vague question like what was the turnaround of the company last year or uh, something you know very private it should not be very vague it should not be very simple just ask some normal questions like you can ask that i came to know that you have a pilot process coming up and this is the pilot process that you're hiring me for so what is the good growth prospect here in how many months can i apply for the promotion and things like that so simple questions you can ask you should be ready for, with these questions. So if you ask these questions, that would tell the interviewer that yes, you've done your homework, you know about the organization, you know about your job profile. The last and final point that I would like to share with you is uh, greeting. Now when you enter for the interview, make sure you enter with a smile on your face. That will show your confidence. And make sure you do a firm handshake. 
and the same should be repeated at the end of the interview. When you leave for the interview, make sure you smile and you do a firm handshake. I wish you all the best for this interview and I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to like the video, post a comment and subscribe to our channel for more useful videos. Thank you and God bless.